Hello and welcome to a compositing tutorial on After Effects in Cinema 4D. If you would like to follow along, visit my page for footages and source files. Alright, so in this part we're going to try to create um, um, a realistic glass um, on top of this one and on top of this to give more depth and to give more, uh, to enhance the whole look of this one, you know, so that we can have these kind of glasses um, that is just a duplicate of the other part, but um, it really gives some nice, uh, some nice look and that's the secret of um, the Russian design, as I said. And to get that, actually, I tried to go all over the net to get this kind of tutorial, but um, I couldn't find it out. So I said, maybe I should make a tutorial about it. So um, to get um, realistic kind of um, glass, we need a lot of things. Not too much, but um, yeah. So let's get right into it. Um, what I need is, for example, I'm just going to try to create a glass out of, out of this. And uh, to do that, let me just hide this. Cool. and let me hide the scene. I'm just gonna duplicate the fracture. I'm gonna call this um, um, block and this one I'm gonna call it block glass. Alright now why I'm doing all that because um, I'm just gonna create a new material I'm just gonna apply to it so that I can know which one is which one. Now they're both inside of each other. Alright see that? Cool. So what I need to do is I just need to get this guy just a bit out of that guy and of course I need to you know I need to delete the extrusion uh, probably I'm gonna get it until 10 or preferably even 5 you know just need to get it like really thin you know uh, 4 cool and I'm just gonna put it a bit down right here so that's quite cool all right uh, just a bit cool now let's try to create this um, this glass material. Now to create a glass material of course you need transparency. That's what glass is. You need your glass to be transparent. But if you just try to be transparent, it's just going to be transparent and then you're not going to see it anyways. And that's, um, I think that's really useless. You see, I'm, I'm not going to even see the glass and that's really bad. Why? Because I don't have something that happens in nature called a refraction. The index of refraction is one. Basically the light goes in directly and it doesn't reflect. Now I'm just going to use the real life and in real life a glass refraction um, uh, number is 1.4. See that? Now the light is, I mean when the light will go or when a reflection will come from here it's not going to directly go through it but it's going to refract a bit. Just like when you try to see um, yourself in a river or in a water and you put your your hand inside you can see that your hand is not as uh, parallel as your own hand and that's the effect of refraction but anyways um, that is if you want to know so now if I try to look exactly I'm trying to I'm starting to see the glass and that's quite cool um, what I'm gonna do to it um, I'm just gonna go and probably change a bit the specular a bit down and um, the height it's gonna absorb more specular this way see now the specular is gonna be quite high because I want to see my light and that's the whole point of a glass is you need to see your light and your highlight this is part one now to get a really realistic glass better than that you need what we call a softbox and to know what is a softbox and the effect of it is you can see here you can see this part but for example you cannot see this part and uh, you have this light going on here same as in my example for example let me show you all right all right so in this for example in this example that we're going to try to create later you can see that there is a light thing and that gives a real beauty to it so that's what we need it's called a softbox and it lights the, the 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 object and to do that it's very simple we're just gonna go back to um, our cinema 4d and um, we're gonna try to create a softbox well there are many plugins for that but as I said no plugins so to do a softbox is very is very 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 simple I'm just gonna go and create a plane alright and uh, cool um, 
just gonna rotate it on this one yeah cool so I'm just gonna get it out beautiful and I'm just gonna make it like so big all right like this big I'm just gonna make it so big and I'm just gonna go and try to rotate it this way I'm just gonna make it quite big because I really want to see it all right and then I'm gonna create a material I don't want color and I don't want specular I just want luminous because we're, we're creating light so I just want to create a lamp kind of material great now let's go back check this out all right you see that that's how it goes cool so we can see that we have a small problem right there so I just need to get it up and that's all so I'm just gonna go to my move tool I'm just gonna move it up and let's get back here and it's also out of our screen which is cool all right so um pretty much this is what you need actually when you create a softbox in front you obviously need to create one softbox down of the object and one softbox on top of the object and to do that we're going to use pretty much the same concept we're going to create a plane all right that we don't really want it we just want to be just like that and we just want to cover the whole thing it's going to put a material and i'm just going to going to put it up uh, out of the screen and uh, i'm just going to duplicate it and uh, we're going to put this guy down all right we don't want to see it and uh, that's it cool so our object is lit in from down from up and from front and that gives it quite a realistic kind of looking material but yeah that's pretty much it now we want to have this kind of look as uh, in this example we have our material that is really absorbing like it's a bit yellowish orangish you know how can we get this kind of um, glass you see it, it it is actually white but then um, on the edges and uh, a bit inside it has this absorbance of an orange color and to do that it's very simple I just need to go inside my material inside transparency and you have color absorbance that's pretty much what it is and uh, I'm just gonna go and change the color of it for example let's just try to do a bit red all right so that's it cool and uh, the distance is just 20 centimeter or else yeah cool now let's see what we have all right it's getting a bit reddish and that's that's pretty much cool all right now same thing for example if i try to to get this to the two for example and um all right let's see all right see that so the two is gonna absorb from the light whatever light there is he's gonna see each light as red and then he's just gonna absorb that um, specular and he's gonna not use specular as white but he's gonna use it as uh, the color of absorbance and that's really really cool all right so uh, pretty much that's it now I just need to create more and more and more and more and more and more stuff so um, which we're gonna do on the next part